Hey, book club. Dan here from One Man Book Club. Today I want to share with you a book called I Am the Messenger by a talented author named Marcus Zusak. Marcus Zusak also wrote The Book Thief. And if you have read or listened to my review of The Book Thief, you'll know I am a pretty big fan. He, the Book Thief is a book unlike anything I'd ever read. And so I thought, let me pick up another book that he wrote. And I picked up I Am the Messenger. And I was blown away again. He, he's now one of my most favorite authors. I've read several books from Marcus Zusak at this point. Um, now, I would call this uh, contemporary fiction. There's no fantasy, science fiction, even historical drama. It's just a story about a guy, an extremely ordinary guy, in fact, named Ed. Now, he's ordinary until he isn't. After, an uncharacteristically, after uncharacteristically foiling a bank robbery, Ed starts receiving puzzling notes written onto playing cards. And the notes lead into people, and each time he finds a message to deliver. And sometimes the messages are hard for Ed, and other times they're easy, and sometimes they're really, really hard. But every time the message Ed delivers improves the life of the recipient, and along the way, Ed learns about himself and just how extraordinary an ordinary person can be. As with the book Thief, I was completely blown away by the beauty of the writing in Marcus Zusak's book. Words have power, and once again, he expertly uses the power of words to move me, the reader. Uh, just as when I wrote my thoughts on The Book Thief, um, I feel wholly inadequate to describe him and his words using my words. So let me just share a few uh, of my favorite lines from I Am The Messenger. She even touches Jimmy's face on the photos. And I see what it is to love someone like Mila loved that man. Her fingertips are made of love. When she speaks, her voice is made of love. Cool. Okay, another one. She soon says, you're my best friend, Ed. I know. You can kill a man with those words. No gun, no bullets, just words and a girl. Okay, here's another one. I didn't leave a note. There's nothing else to do. At first I wanted to write Merry Christmas on the box somewhere, but I decided against it. This isn't about words. It's about glowing lights and small things that are big. Okay, one more. Sometimes people are beautiful. Not in looks, not in what they say, just in what they are. I love it. I love Marcus Zusak's words. Now there's a lot more where those came from in I Am The Messenger. And the book has a great ending too. I'm a sucker for surprise endings and this one ends with a fantastic puzzler that will make you stop and think. You might even need to reread the ending a couple of times before you get it. Now if the writing and the story aren't enough for you, then this cool twist ending should convince you. I thought I Am the Messenger was a wonderful, enjoyable read. So good, in fact, I've given it a place on one of my, all, my all-time greatest uh, shelf on Goodreads. Just so you know, there's a handful of SH words that you'll encounter. Uh, that's it. And despite that, I highly recommend it to fellow book lovers everywhere who are 14 and up. Happy reading, everyone.